Hello friends, in this lecture, I would like to explain another topic based on the shear wall. First open the Stad Pro Connect software, in that select new and again give your file name that is shear wall and again choose your default location where you want, you want to store the look, file and type will be analytical, units will be metric and then create a new model. Click yes. Your default user interface will be open like this. See here in the geometry, select run structural wizard. Okay, and again in the file, select units. First check whether your units will be in meters or any others. So here I want meters, I will change this one feet to meters, click OK. And again in the model type, click the frame model. Then click the bay frame. So you have to double click this one. See here, your parameters dialog box will be open. And again, here I want to design a two bay single story frame. For that, I have to assign shear walls also. Okay, so if I select multi frame in the starting itself, means it is difficult to assign. For that only, for the trial purpose, I am showing a simple model here. Length wise, I will take six. Height wise, I will take some three meters. And width wise, I will take only three meters. And again, in the length wise, I want two bays. So height will be only single bay, single story and width will be only single bay. So click apply and see. So your structure will be two bay single story frame. Then you have to transfer this model into the STAD Pro. Okay. So our next step is you have to assign the supports first. So click supports and then create the supports. Select fixed support. Click add. So and again select the support and again in the view select front view. So select the nodes and again in the 3D view, you have to assign the selected nodes. And again, next to the properties and again, we have to define the property. So again, select here rectangle. If you want, you can go for rectangular or square beams and columns also. I will give the same property that is 0 0.300 mm by 200 mm. That is 0 0.3 meters by 0 0.23 meters. Click add close and then you have to select this one and again in the select option select beam cursor and then you have to select overall beams and columns and assign to the selected beams and your next option is we have to assign the plates before that in the geometry select add four noded plate so select this add plate and you can add the plates so first plate and again second plate so these plates for the slab slab is a horizontal member and here i am showing the shear walls also shear wall is a vertical member okay sorry vertical plate slabs are the horizontal plates shear walls are the vertical plates for that again i will select this four node plates so this is one direction positive x direction and again this also this is negative x direction so i am just showing the force can be either applied in both x directions on the plates okay then our next step is assign thickness to this particular plates so select thickness so by default i will give some 0 0.15 for all the plates click add close so select entire plate select plate cursor select all the plates so four plates will be selected assign the thickness to the selected plates so in the 3d rendering view you can see here how it will be see here flat slabs will be created so here we are selecting only plates if we selected entire structure entire structure will be visible so otherwise you can see here don't highlight anything you can just view with the 3d rendering view so here you can observe columns beams plates and shear walls also there so shear walls are the vertical plates slabs are the horizontal plates then our next step is giving loads to the structure then select loads and again in the load case details click add so first dead load for the entire structure so i am giving dead load add close and again load case details add 
live load that is ll okay click add close so again in the dead load you can add assign self rate of the structure that is minus 1 click add close and again in the live load we have to add plate loads so plate loads for slabs i am giving negative for trial purpose i am giving some 5 kilometer per meter square in the global y direction click add close and again in the live load click add so here and again in the plate loads for vertical plate that is for shear walls in the global x direction so on that too i will give some 5 or minus 5 kilo newton meter per square so i give by default i will give 5 only for this one also click add close and again click add so in the x direction again for plate loads in the x direction that to negative x direction negative 5 kilo newton meter square will be applied see here each and every plate you have to apply individually this is wide global y direction these are global x direction and these are global minus x direction so first you have to assign the self rate of the structure click assign okay and again pressure load will be applied only for the vertical plates so first you select this one and then select parallel to the x direction see here both top plates will be selected assigned to the selected plates and again next one plates cursor select this one and select this uh, pressure and apply to the selected plate okay and again you ch check in the loading how the loading will be applied see here it will be correct if it will be applied towards uh, left means the force coming from inside it is not correct so the force is coming from outer side to the plate and this is from the top to the plate and for this one you have to apply towards left for that purpose only i am giving minus 5 here and again in the select you can select the plate cursor and select this particular plate and then you can apply this plate and assign it to the plates see here how it will be applied so this is a simple frame why i am means it is easy to apply plates easy to apply for the slabs sometimes if you select multi story plates means you can go through this option plate parallel to the y z directions plate parallel to the x z x y directions like that uh, for multi story planes you can select individually okay and you have to apply plates for that also individually so for showing how shear wall will be the, for this purpose only i am taking some simple model here okay then you can analyze the structure define commands click all add the structure close and run analysis save the structure see here if there will be any errors or warnings So it is processing so there will be zero errors and zero warnings then go for the design okay so for that select a design and again select a concrete here and again choose indian standard 456 and again you have to select the parameters here we have to select a characteristic compressive strength of the concrete for fc and f5 main main reinforcement you can select a fi also secondary shear reinforcement so if you are applying shear reinforcement you can select this one also otherwise you can stop this one also for beams shear reinforcement also required click okay and then okay and we have to define that parameters so here we are taking compressive strength of the concrete will be m25 grade concrete for that f25 into 1000 kilometer per meter square click add and again f5 main will be hysd 415 into 1000 click add and again secondary reinforcement 415 into 1000 click add close and again in the commands you can select design beam click add design column click add design slab click add. why we are selecting all these streams there will be beams in our frame there will be columns in our frame there will be plates in our frame for that only i am taking all these three and then take off click add close you have to apply all these things design is very simple part fc you have to apply it for all 
characteristic comprehensive strength strength of the concrete. FI main also you have to apply for all. Okay. Then FI secondary reinforcement also you have to apply for all. It will as then as it is. So in design beams we can apply only for the beams for that select beams parallel to x axis, beams parallel to z axis. We can assign to the selected beams. And again design column select beams parallel to y axis. Okay. And again, design element, select the plate cursor and then select entire structure as I into the selected plates. So your design also completed. Then our first step is we have to analyze the structure first. Then click add, close and then you can go for the run analysis. Click save the structure. Again, zero errors and zero warnings. Before going to the output file, go to the post processing mode, done. And again, you have to select both loads on the plates. See here, in the post processing mode, so either here the deflection will be, so the deflection in x direction, you will see how the deflection in the x direction. And again, how the deflections in the y direction, you can check each and everything. Again, check the movement in y direction. So this is the movement in y direction. So this is the moment in x-ray direction. So there will be narrow deflections. Why? Because the whatever the load we are applying according to the property, it will suits. It doesn't deflect more. And moment in z-direction also narrow only. Okay. Then you can check the plate stress. So this is the plate stress. For before that, you can check the animation, deflection. Click OK. See here, you can change this one and see whether it will be deflected or not. So there will be narrow deflections here. So we will check for stress contours. Okay, plate stress contours, maximum absolute pressure. And again in the animation, stress apply. You will see here, this is the stress displacement factor for the shear walls and slabs. Okay, so these are the plate stress contours. And again, you will check the deflections. Is there any deflections? So there will be narrow deflections. Okay. Then, and again, you have to select the reactions. What are the reactions for each and every putting? Then, select individual column in the analytical mode and see the concrete design, how it will be. Okay. So this is for the columns. And again, this is for the beams. Okay. Then also check the designs of the detailing of the plates for that plate cursor and then double click this one. See here each and everything you will get here. So property constants for we are applying thickness of 0 0.15 and so by default it will be taken the elasticity around 3150. Each and everything you have to check here. Center stresses how much it will be applied and what are the geometry the properties of the plates around 3 meters we are taking the bay each and every bay height will be 3 meters length will be 3 meters width will be 3 meters like that in y and z direction it will be showing and total or total area will be around 3950 so each and every details you will get uh, for this vertical plate if you want uh, this horizontal plate you can go and check this one also and again you can change this dead load to live load so you will get the detailing of the plates individually maximum top uh, principal major stresses will be this much and bottom principal major stresses will be this much. So each and every detail you have to check completely. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you really like this video, please like this video, share it to your friends and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.